Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to add a better quest cam to your Gods like Fang game. So what you want to do, I mean, uh, what, it, what it has is FOV slider, for, um, a reset FOV, follow player, FP, uh, first person, third person, and screen. Screen is just like green screen, blue screen, red screen. It will also have like this little second settings icon, which enables and disables all the settings so that you don't like get overwhelmed and everything. Like it's just going to be a bit annoying sometimes. So yeah, so what quest cam really has, so the quest cam doesn't have this, I added this, but what quest cam has is it lets you and uh, record videos on quest with a camera. So you know like camera mods and gorilla tag, like the Yeezy camera mod. This is basically pretty much the same thing, but for your gorilla tag fan game. And Chris, shout out to oh, credits to quest cam for actually making this uh, camera. It is absolutely awesome. So what you want to do is go down into the description, go uh, jump my Discord server, go to quick script fighting, uh, find the better quest cam, uh, probably mostly going to be at the bottom, and then press on it. If it says hashtag unknown, press on it, it still works, um, and then uh, it'll take you take you to this script and it's going to take you somewhere here. Um, it'll, uh, there'll be a Unity package called better quest cam. Uh, download that Unity package. Then go to the description again and go to the uh, where it says native gallery. There's going to be a link, it's going to be to a Unity asset store to the native gallery uh, Unity package. Download it or uh, like import it, uh, get it into your like when, when you like uh, get an asset from the asset store, you'll open a package manager and download it uh, or download it. So you will need this. So download it native gallery if you don't already have it. Then what you want to do before you do anything with this quest cam is go to um, your browser, whatever you use. I use uh, Opera GX and go uh, go into the um, description again. There's going to be something called a quest cam dev login or quest cam login, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to name it. Uh, what, you gotta, what it's going to send you to is going to be this. Uh, you're going to have quest cam register if you don't already have an account then make an account all, all you need is um an email address username password and all that it's really easy to log in so i'll quickly log in and i'll show you guys what to do next okay so you should be at this dashboard there should be nothing in here i mean there shouldn't be any projects what you want to do is press this plus button project name uh do your game name Company name, I don't think you need this, but what I do is just uh, your yeah, well, your name in Discord or whatever, and then uh, games. Description you need, so just do like a girl, it's like fun game, blah, blah, blah. Story URL, you do not need this. Uh, tags, just add some tags to help Questcam know what uh, what uh, people are using this for. So I'm um, guessing you're probably making a girl, it's like fun game if you're watching this. Uh, free to play, girl attack fan game, multiplayer, and anything else that just applies to girl attack fan game. Since I already made this, I uh, made a, pr a project, um, then I'll just take one of this. Um, keep this game token hidden, do not share it with anybody because then it'll just be weird. Since in their game, if they use that token, then you can see that recording onto this, and it's just gonna be just it's just gonna mess up everything. So I just recommend do not uh, share it with anybody. So just copy this whole entire game key, Control C, go back into Unity. Now what you want to do is go to Better Cross Cam, Unity this, this, then go to our Editor, no, Runtime, go to Prefabs, um, actually, go to, I mean, go to Extra Scripts, and there should be a Cross Cam package here. Just drag it in and you should have a quest cam here um it looks very weird with two of them so i recommend you not having two it's just to have one um and all of this uh, just leave this because sh most of it is going to be set up if you get an error something we've called like disable collider on grab is blah 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 this is because this i edited this script for it to work i think this is the newest version of xr interaction toolkit so what version it is made for is um the uh, it is 3.0.6 that's the version i use that's the version i edited it for 
so i don't know if it works for older versions or i don't know if there's a newer version of this but um yeah i edited it, edited it so that works for this if it doesn't work for you then i just recommend maybe deleting the script uh but yeah so you should have all of these things um uh, layer you're probably just gonna have a default what i suggest is add a layer call it trigger or not walkable or whatever and you should have a rigid body box collider and everything so how the box collider is like this it looks like this it's very accurate well, not very but it's just make it, making it easier if you want to edit it you can edit it if you want but this is the box collider rigid body you should have this as always is kinematic unless it's just going to be unless you want it like a funny camera where um you can throw it around and stuff but i suggest you keep it as is kinematic of course uh this none of this uh, really matters all you need also is collision detection as continuous dynamic and that's all do also do not put um ish trigger for this unless uh, do not put ish trigger or else this probably will not work like the grabbing then what we want to do is in xr grab interactable i make it interaction layer mask because it's just just a bit better um you don't need to you can keep this as everything um but i did and you do not need to do anything fair movement type i would keep this as instantaneous it's the most like best kind of movement thing um what you need to do now is create an empty game object at an xr manager uh, xr interaction manager script now in here where it says uh, xr grab interactable uh, interactable add the interaction manager just pr press here and add it it's easy now go to gorilla rig gorilla player left hand and right hand add the direct interactor if you if you change the interaction layer mask add the or uh, back on to here the same thing as you added on the xr grab interactable and of course xr interaction manager just press this little icon here and do this for both hands make sure both hands has a sphere collider with h trigger radius can be 0 0.05 or 0 0.06 ha uh, attack hand tag and layer i have left for left hand and right for right hand now what we want to do is a right click on your right controller uh xr uh go to uh where is it uh, ray interactor and you should create a ray interactor here then what we want to do is you're gonna have all these scripts opened up add the xr interaction manager like this uh, if you as i'm saying as i said all the time if you have interaction layer mask just have it there add it you do not need to set up any of this it works uh line renderer color uh, press on this and this make it red just fully red the uh, width keep it the same because i think it's just a good thing if you do have not have any materials in here um then just press on this search up line that's line and press on this and then it should work now let's just close this this here keep this line width as the same as you kept in here uh, invalid color gradient means when it's touching something like that you can interact with it's going to be that color so keep it the same as in your line renderer so just do this and this red invalid means so that when it's not on something that you can interact it's going to be that so for here the color doesn't matter it just means uh, matters these top things so press on this one do zero al alpha zero do this one alpha zero uh, yep. And then that's going to be so then when the ray is not on something it's going to be invisible block color gradient you do not need to change this and all of this is already set up sorting group this should also be just okay you can also do this for the left hand controller if you also want to um like do stuff on the left hand controller too now let's get on to the actual quest cam so if you remember the uh, game token that i said uh to paste in uh, well, it's copy. If you open this QuestCam recorder, you gotta have this game token like thing here. Paste it into here, um, and yeah, this all should be set up. Uh, override color sprays. This should be the same as in your player settings. So if you go to project settings, player, if you have color sprays as linear, uh, make this as a linear too. Camera should be also set up. Everything should be set up. Now if we go to QuestCam controller. I don't know, I just got an error. In Questcam controller, Questcam, um, this is just, 
this should be just already set up. Player, you have to set this up yourself. So um, just drag in the gorilla player. What this does is just basically uh, what the camera will follow. So it will follow the gorilla player. The following, the f uh, camera follow is not the best um, since it's, just, it's, it's a bit hard to code that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, it's not the best, but it still works. Um, so yeah. Objects to disable in first person. This is like uh, the objects that will be get with this that will get disabled uh, when you have in first person mode. So just do like the uh, it probably will be all set up anyways. So um, yeah, this should be also set up uh, first person, third person, and follow player button. These should be these three buttons. Uh, first person, third person, call camera point, teleport point. You have to set this up by yourself since it will not be set up uh, already. So, in your main camera, create two, uh, two empty, game ob um, empty game objects. One, call it FP point, and the second one, call it CC point. FP is for first person, CC is for call camera. So, call camera, make it just like one out, um, and FP point, make it just right inside the thing, so zero, zero, zero in the main camera. Now, when you have main camera, you also have a capsule, I'm guessing. Uh, just open this, create a TP point, and what I did is on the Z axis, do negative one. Y 0.5 and also rotated it a bit down so that it's not looking like this where you can just only see like pretty much the head of the gorilla player or like the player I'll also just kind of look down at you a bit so yeah um, then what we want to do we'll go back to quest cam uh, assign those points trigger hand is which hand will call the camera back so basically um, which like hand when you press the button it will call the camera, so basically spawn the camera in front of you. Uh, I keep this as, as right hand, as same as is primary. This is means if you press, you have to press your primary button or your secondary button. Uh, so primary being either, let me check quickly. Uh, primary being either A or X, so A on your right controller, X on your left. And then secondary um, will be B on your right and then Y on your left controller. Um, so that's what, yeah, it is. I keep it as primary or with trigger hand, right hand. Cooldown, uh, I keep, I'll just keep this as the same. This is just the cooldown so you just don't spam uh, the call camera everywhere. If you want that, just keep it at zero. This, yeah, the, this is going to be follow player settings. So uh, follow speed is going to be how fast like the camera moves to. Follow distance is going to be how far away the camera will be from away from you. Camera height offset, this is so that um, it doesn't break the camera and just like go like this under you, it'll just kind of like float a bit more like, like this. You can edit that to see what, what it does. Debugging, do not really change any of this. Um, child reader bodies, this will find it all automatically. Uh, that you do not really need to do anything with that. Then what we're going to have is Questcam, FOV, Shower and Restarter. You should also have this all set up, which is just all this. Um, so yeah. And uh, that's really it. Um, Questcam should be set up. Um, so next, what you, uh, the last really thing you really need to do is uh, you need to make the screens yourself. It's like the green screen, blue screen, red screen. So this will enable probably maybe in shop or wherever you want, maybe in stomp, in your spawn, wherever you want. So like, so what you want to do is in green screen, I mean, you want to create either an empty or whatever. Call it green screen, blue screen, red screen. You can just make these as cubes or whatever you want. Um, I just create this, so I've got green screen, blue screen, and red screen. Now what you want to do is go back to Questcam, uh, go down to more control, uh, more camera controls, uh, off bar screens, enable this. Now you're gonna have green screen, uh, GS, BS, and RS. Green screen, blue screen, red screen, and disable screen, uh, which means it will just dis it will disable all these buttons and also disable all the screens, all, all the screen. So if you open this, you should have uh, five buttons, not five, four buttons. So for green, uh, keep all of this as the same, but so how this should work is um, 
the screens that need to be disabled, so uh, blue and red, will be at the top, and the one who uh, the one which will be enabled will be at the bottom. So for this uh, green screen, as you can see, is at the bottom. Red and blue is at the top, uh, disabled. It's just better that way. Do do the same with blue and red. In disable, make the left bar screen. Uh, this was pr this will probably already set up for you. Make it at the bottom. Because if you will not, if you make it at the top, it will disable this, which means it will disable the button and it will not disable the screen, like green, blue or red screen. So yeah, keep this all at the bottom, have green, blue, red uh, as all off, same as this off, and yeah, that should be all set up for you. So I did try to test this in um, VR, like, uh, like Quest VR. For me, I don't know why it didn't work, um, I did everything right, but it just did not work for me, probably, be, uh, I don't know, maybe because I uh, broke a game or something. I don't know if you need Oculus SDK for this, but I'm, I do not think so, you need to, and, um, yeah. I, for me, it didn't work, but I hope it works for you guys, and if it doesn't work, comment down below that it doesn't work. Or go into my Discord server, go into Unity Help, and ping me, and say Quest Scan doesn't work, and say for whatever reason, uh, for what reason it doesn't work, and if it's not going to be the reason that it doesn't record, then um, I'll help you. But if it, if for, if it's for you, if it doesn't record, then uh, tell me. Then it's because probably I don't know Quest Scan's broken or something. Um, then if you want. Um, I'll try make my own kind of camera system, um, but I don't know if that will really change anything. Okay, so here's a thing I forgot. Forgot. Um, one thing you need to do in your project settings player, go to other settings. Uh, in the like old, uh, the first Questcam video that Questcam actually uploaded and how to like um, make Questcam work. They only said that it only supports OpenGL E. I do not know if it works on Vulkan because the newest version they did not make an updated video. So um, I don't know if it works on Vulkan or I think I think it works on Auto, uh, Auto Graphics API. But I know uh, what the one thing you need to actually do is go down to a minimum API level, and this should be at least 29 or over. So I would suggest either 29 or like 31. Uh, so yeah. And down here, scripting backend, this should be as L, uh, IL2 C, CPPP, CPP, and this should be net standard 2.1. Um, uh, down here, should, uh, turn off R, RMV7, this should be uh, as RM64. Now in internet access, do as require, and write permission, this should be as internal. And I think that should actually work now. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's one thing I um, actually forgot to. Uh, um, well, another thing you guys should also do is in the Discord, um, in the channel, there will also be like a hashtag Easy Inputs, or where it says. Um, let me just quickly, uh, quick. Or next to the quest cam, it's probably gonna say Need Easy Inputs. So download the Easy Imports Unity package, um, and also import that uh, that package so that um, the better cross cam also works. So yeah, that's um, that's a few things. That, that, that there were two things that I forgot to tell you to add um, and change. So yeah, so I'll see all you guys in the next video or tutorial. Goodbye.